We're lost now. We're breaking out the map. We don't have any signal out here, so there's no way to get in contact with no, them. This is the way back, man. Are you sure? Look. We didn't come through this tunnel. This was a tunnel we yeah. just went through. We, we were just by I-70. We were just parallel I-70. We just came across and we're headed this way. You are my brother. You are my sister. Made by the same guy. Loved by the same heart. We've got to live love. We've got to give love. Good morning guys. It's a wonderful day here in Vail, Colorado. Mike and I got up a little bit late this morning. We came here at the Comfort Inn because they offer a continental breakfast. And what did we miss this morning? That's right. So we're gonna go eat some breakfast. And then after that, we're gonna head to snowmobiling. They're gonna take us, or we're gonna take ourselves up to the top of the Rockies. You guys like my new hairstyle for today? It's kind of ridiculous from the side, but I'm trying it out. Some of you have been really sweet and sending me messages and comments on my Instagram photos, just offering me condolences and best wishes while I'm alone at home without Sam with the kids for a few days. And so I just thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about how I feel about my husband and really supporting his hobbies and why that's important and you know how we would manage to do it here in our house. Good breakfast. Can you guys guess what this is? That's chicken fried steak with chili, green chili, with eggs, hash browns, and a biscuit. Look at that. Look at that. Well, it's not as steep a drop as I thought it was, but really pretty scenery out here. I decided this drive is so cool. I want to mount my GoPro right here on the hood to give you guys a cool shot of us going up these mountains. I really try to support Sam's hobbies. I, I always have, and um, I think it's really important that as wives and women, we really take the time to encourage our husband's hobbies and their endeavors and really get excited with them. You know, God designed men to want to conquer the world and to leave their mark on it. I'm just so pumped to do this. Man, I'm so excited. Michael's getting his GoPro already. This is another GoPro device he made. Don't steal his idea, guys, okay, please? But um, I'm so excited. I'm just so grateful that Nia allowed me to come out here. So Nia, thank you so much for letting me come out. I know it wasn't easy seeing me go for four days, especially just after getting a puppy. Nia, I love you. You're awesome. If we're kind of squandering those dreams or we're not being supportive or we're kind of brushing it off, maybe we're jealous. I don't know what you personally might be feeling or whatever, but... Um, you know, it's just really important that we really dive into their hobbies with them. So at the last minute, we decided to upgrade. We're getting the better snowmobile. It's like a two-stroke and it's made for off-trail. They suggested we stick to the one that's for on-trail, but we want to have a little bit more fun. Yeah. What's your name, man? Max. Hi, Max. Yeah, if you guys Welcome got... to the vlog. What's happening? <laughs> Tell these guys what to do, what not to do, where to go, where not to go. Are those places we can't go? Unless you want to smash the machine. Okay, don't, don't want to do that. Or drive off of a thousand foot cliff. Don't want to do that either. One thing that can be really beneficial from supporting your spouse's hobbies is that it gives them their identity. It, it helps them to just like still be themselves and not just be a husband, just be a dad or the, or the nurse or what, whatever your husband might do. First things first, big red button is your kill switch. Up is on, down is off. The machine will never start if this is down. All right, bro, here we go. Starts up. We're ready to play in that white mud.
so much funner. We turn this off. So you hear me? You hear water running down these rocks. This is so much funner and so much uh, scarier than I thought it was gonna be. Michael, there's no snow in here. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Hope a train doesn't come. Look at this. This was built by man. Can you just see all the people with wagons and shovels and picks and dynamite in here? Wow. This is just... It's important for us to have time to ourselves and to really just dive into what makes us us. Think about the man that you fell in love with. He was that man because he had for so long been on his own discovering himself, finding himself, and hopefully diving into the hobbies that he was interested in. And we tend to get away from that once we become um, parents especially and we have careers. We tend to kind of get away from our hobbies. But especially if you're married to someone who doesn't get a lot of fulfillment out of the workplace, um, it's very important that you allow them that time to themselves. This has been so worth it so far. I didn't show it on the vlog, but we got stuck immediately. Like as soon as we took off, we both went into some deep, deep snow and got stuck, both of us. <laughs> Is this not exhilarating, Mike? Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Feels kind of risky. It's so risky. Look how close this ledge is. You only have about five feet clearance all through these mountains. And it is not easy maneuvering these things. Not nearly as easy as I thought. You have to use your body and really lean into it to steer this thing. Michael's getting his GoPro ready before you go through the tunnel. No, I can't. It's useless. Oh, are you going to use your helicopter? No, it's, it's broke. The end, the end broke. Oh, both of them? Yep. It's just really important to make sure that your husband um, or wife knows that you validate their dreams, that you think that they are going to conquer that dream and they're going to make the most of it no matter what they end up doing. Guys, you got to see this. This would have been the perfect exploration location for Symphony and I. Look at this. It's an old mining factory. It's so awesome. Look at the old buildings, the old little mills. Look at all the wood they have built up all the way to the top of that mountain. Look at this. All the way up there. You see the mines. Right there. I've never seen a door calling my name as much as this one. Look at the door down there. I want to go in there. So mysterious. It's so hard to leave. As I'm sitting here thinking about him being off snowboarding and the different hobbies he's had over time, you know, it could be something minor that you guys are working on in your house, or maybe it's not necessarily your husband's hobby, but he's trying to get something done around the house. He doesn't want to hire someone in to do it. You know, I encourage you women to just really build them up, no matter how good or bad the project might be going, because they need that from you. Guys, we're a little bit lost. We don't know if you're supposed to ride in mud on these things. The snowmobiles. We came to this point here and we're just confused. They did not mention us having to drive on mud or anything. Well, I see snowmobile tracks coming right into here. Michael? Not many. What? I don't I hardly see anything. There's definitely tracks. Look at that. We really have like an hour and 20 minutes to get back. Anyways, I am just super glad that my husband is out. Fulfilling his dream of snowboarding for this year, him and Michael have been talking about snowboarding for so long. And more than just the snowboarding aspect of it, I am so glad that Sam is getting to spend some time with his twin brother. This is the downside of snowmobiling as an amateur. It's hard to judge the terrain. There's Mike. He's stuck out there. The risky thing about taking mine back in there and saving him is that what if I get stuck out there too? Then there's no way for us to get back. So he's on his own right now. Mike, you're on your own! Right. 
Sam, I miss you. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. He comes home tomorrow, you guys. I'm so excited. Symphony has talked about nothing else than marking off her calendar and going to the airport tomorrow. She is so ecstatic, and I am too. I can't wait to kiss that man up. <laughs> We're lost now. We're breaking out the map. We don't have any signal out here, so there's no way to get in contact with no, them. This is the way back, man. Are you sure? Look. We didn't come through this tunnel. This was a tunnel we just went through. We, we were just by I-70. We were just parallel I-70. We just came across and now we're headed this way. I'm trusting Michael knows what he's talking about. He's a Marine and they taught him all about maps and what are they? <laughs> right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for the most part. Wait. We need a compass. There's Annie. She joined me in the wood shop. She misses Sam a lot too. I had a horrible allergic reaction to Annie this morning. Like my eyes swelled up, swelled, swelled up, and it was like glazed over, which is kind of what happens to me when I get around cats. And my throat was like getting kind of like swollen. My face was itching. I was like wanting to claw my face off. So luckily we were headed out of the house though when that started happening and I'm all better now. The babies are awake for now. We're gonna go play outside. Annie. Annie. Come on, let's go outside. We'll see her. Let's go see Annie outside. Come on. We made it back right in time. What time is it? We're supposed to be back by five. A little late, but not late enough for search and rescue. Not late enough for me to come out. 5.15. Yeah. Oh, She's good. by 5.20. Oh. Man, we were speeding back, man. I was like, we're not going to pay for that search time. They're caught, they charge $100 an hour to come search for us. We went all up this mountain. That's where we were vlogging. We were lost. He said we went in territory we weren't supposed to be in. Over there where we saw that factory. But he gets stuck a few times, that's for sure. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> How can you tell? Snow in the handlebar. <laughs> we probably spent the last hour trying to figure out where we were. We ended up on Highway 24. I was waving down traffic, asking, which way is Nova Guides? Where do we go? <laughs> Thanks, Max. Awesome, guys. Your machines are all good. You're good to go. Go inside, talk to Erica, and uh, have some hot cocoa. Yeah, definitely. How many? Just two. <laughs> hot cocoa time, guys. It was definitely like risky and just like exhilarating and just an adrenaline rush really. Because we were like time rushed. Yeah, that was one reason. Cheers, man. To making it back safely. Wow. Guys, this weather is just like insanely beautiful. It's hard to imagine Sam in snow and all bundled up wearing vests and sweaters and hats and stuff. And I'm just like practically need to go change into a tank top and shorts. It's hot out here today. Well, that's it for the day, guys. That was... A very thrilling experience you and exhausting. Good, cool photography over there. I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye now. Thanks for coming on with us again today, guys. Tomorrow morning, we're going back home. So, Mike, I think this is your goodbye. Oh, I guess tomorrow you can say goodbye. Yeah. Any last words, bro? Thanks for coming with us today. Too bad you guys couldn't come uh, snowboarding with us. There was enough room for like two of you guys. <laughs> The only disappointing thing about this trip was we didn't make it to the top of the mountain. He was telling us how amazing the top looks. You can see like something written in one of the top of the mountains. Sky? Sky. It's called Sky Mountain. It's called Sky. It's naturally written in there somehow. I'm not sure. But anyway. <sighs> Goodbye, Snow. Goodbye, guys. Don't forget. We love you. And remember to love each other.